Who will be driving for Haas next year? That is a big question. Will it be Rossi? Uh, as Alfonso said, a great driver. Uh, and Alfonso's run a few good drivers. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, it won't be Nico Hulkenberg. That much is for sure. He has signed for another two years at Force India. Um, but sooner or later, we'll know who will be running a Ferrari engine in the back of a Haas next year. Time is running out uh, for, for somebody to sign up to that deal. One guy who is running a Ferrari engine, the factory Ferrari engine, uh, already Grand Prix winner this year for the Scuderia, coming into one of the biggest weeks of the year for Ferrari, uh, Sebastian Vettel. But despite the importance of this week, what it means to him coming here as a Ferrari driver, his thoughts, as everybody's here in Monza, uh, very much on the passing of Justin Wilson uh, and on the renewed debate over safety, uh, not just in Formula One, but for motorsport globally. Well... Honest answer, I'm not a fan of closed cockpits, but I think it's something we need to look into. Obviously, uh, it's the second time now we had a very similar accident uh, with Henry Surtis some years ago and now Justin Wilson, um, both uh, losing their lives. Uh, and one thing is clear, if the closed cockpit you know, could avoid that, could have avoided that in the past and could avoid that in the future, then we would all accept and be happy to race that until the end of our racing career. Um, so that's why I think it's something probably we need to to look into, uh, look into now. You say you're not a fan of the closed cockpit. Can you explain uh, why? Well, I don't know. Maybe as silly as tradition, and uh, because it has always been like that. Um, so maybe a bit shy on making the move. But as I said. There's obvious reasons, and if they could have made the difference, there's no point sticking to any traditions because no tradition is worth keeping uh, for losing, you know, a great guy. That's your lot then from Paddock Pass here in Monza. Here are the times where you can catch everything this weekend. Uh, be sure not to miss any of it because with the weather, sure to play havoc with the. Uh, with the running, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. Uh, also, don't forget, not marked on that list, Saturday after live qualifying on NBCSN, you can catch the latest edition uh, of Off the Grid, which is all about Silverstone, uh, and Jason and I get to drive around in a McLaren 650S, which is pretty awesome. Uh, that's your lot, though. Uh, it's been great. Ciao.